It's gonna be a three, three, Suddenly, nine. a red warning comes up with Turn two cast course, messages. Proceed on course, maintain 3,000 for now. And I'm just doing that to simulate two engines have failed. This is about the glide ratio that a dual engine failure would be. You mean by putting it in idle and dropping the gear? Exactly right. Okay. November. Romeo, off Lauderdale, exact. Key West. Ray 186, Romeo, Miami, departure, Ritter Con. Okay, we've got our engines fail, uh, got the mask on. Romeo. Checking that there's some reason why this has happened. What airport am I close to? Uh, we got to put it on the ground. Number 46 Yankee, when able, fighting of 1 9 or 0, please. Okay, we can do one zero. Connect the autopilot. My uh, Runway length 5900, it's 11 miles. Uh, let's go there, direct. And the frequency is supposed to load automatically. Uh, Miami Center Eclipse 2 Yankee and Oki Forum is declaring an emergency. Copy emergency uh, 2 Yankee Uniform, uh, State Nature Emergency, souls on board and fuel. Uh, we've got a dual engine failure, and I'm going to make an emergency landing at uh, 21 Sierra. Copy 21 Sierra will contact uh, the authorities, and uh, I show Air Glades 21 Sierra at 10 miles off your uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, can you tell me what the uh, frequency is there? Frequency for air glides, one, two, three, decimal, zero, five for Unicom. Four, seven, motion, I maintain six thousand. Well, runway five, the badge. Let's see, we are 14. I'm going to get rid of those command bars because they're confusing me. Where is traffic? No problem. There's not a lot to do for dual engine failure. We could try to restart. And best glide is actually around 110, but with the gear down. Yeah, and you would be getting gear warnings, you cancel it off. I've tried, tried going around runway 10, special. Dual engine failure. Got the mask sign. Turn toward ne near a suitable landing. Throttles idle. Air start envelope. Verify within the envelope. Uh, we're above, yeah, we are in the envelope. Attempt an air start. Okay, and you go through an air start and it doesn't start. Okay. On, on each side, it doesn't start. Okay, we got a real problem now because two nautical miles, altimeter. It's already set. Seat belts, inertia wheel, passenger brief. Tom, um, make sure that your inertia reel is locked. Locked. Airspeed uh, 195 to 200. That's why I was thinking we're going to have to pull the, the gear release handle. I think I want to right, do, that. Just, do that high. I was going to say, and, and tell me when you would do that. I'm going to do that while I can still go fast. So I'm going to circle the airport, make sure I've got the field made. And then I'm going to drop the nose. That's what I would do, is, is I would put the gear down when I know I've got the field made. Okay, we're going to have a little problem here because of the clouds. In real life... We are real life. Um, one point nautical miles from the field. Let me utilize this VFR hole here. I want to stay visual as much as I can. We're at 10,000 feet. We have 10,000 feet to lose. Very 
good. And I'm going to go ahead and just start simulating this real deal here. And realize the other thing is you don't have this and you don't have this. These, these are gone because we're battery power only right now. Yeah, you would you wouldn't have this because this would because we're battery power only. So you're getting extra here. Eight thousand feet to go. When I drop my gear, I'm going to start coming down a lot faster. Exactly. Again for a downwind to touch and go. Pop the traffic. And is anyone in the pattern? The checklist probably told you, but this would actually be a no flap. The airport will be entering on final. Okay, Roger that. We'll be looking out for you too, Charlie Pop. Roger that. Thank you. We got three green. Well, no, we don't. Well, yeah, eventually you will. Airport should be ahead and to the left here. We're 7,000 feet descending. There's the field. Uh, a look is worth a thousand tools. <laughs> I'm worried about getting the gear down, and I think at 6,000 feet right over the field, I'm going to do it now. All right, good. We're going to drop it down to about 190 knots. All right, so the gear the gear actually came down at 140 knots, so we're and, gonna it, and it snapped right down. Pull this handle, and then make sure I stow it. Okay, the gear is now down. Yep, good. Okay. And I'm going to land to the north. Cloud tops are tilting slightly to the south, which makes me think maybe there's a north wind. Northeast. Okay, we're 5,000 feet. Air Glades traffic equipped to Yankee Uniform is uh, doing a simulation overhead. Air Glades. This is Air Glades Unicom. Be advised, this is skydiving facility and skydiving will be taking place all day long. Please do not directly overfly Air Glades. Okay, thanks for the information and we'll comply. Thank you, sir. Bad choice in runway. <laughs> I got an emergency. I want you to well, yeah, clear that's all the skydivers out of the area. I'm coming in. So I'm going to line up with final. And at 4,000 feet, I'm probably going to make maybe another another turn. We're coming down at 1,000 feet a minute. Ah. I said I was going to land to the north, but I'm changing my mind. I like it. Good to do one more lap here. Air Glades traffic, Eclipse 2, Yankee Uniform, we've got Skydivers Airborne now. Air Glades Unicom, uh, Eclipse 2, Yankee Uniform. Air Glades Unicom, go ahead. Yeah, have you got the uh, Skydivers Aircraft Airborne now? Yes, yeah, sir, they're up in the air. He's probably uh, switched over to Miami. Uh, he's probably talking to Miami right now, but uh, he should be dropping in the next uh, three to five minutes. Okay, we'll keep an eye. Thanks for the info. Yes, sir. Tim, if you want to go out, I'll uh, make it. You're fine as long as you stay within the traffic patterns uh, out here at Air Glades. Uh, right hand traffic for 1 3, left hand traffic for 3 1. That'll keep you clear of uh, skydiving activity. Cover that, and, uh, and the uh, skydivers touch down on the field. Again, as long as. Uh, okay, just answer the question. The activity will not uh, interfere with anything that you're doing. Just please don't directly overfly us. Copy that. So we can do and, a simulated. Uh, he will landing. give uh, the pilot will give a two minute warning uh, when he's about to drop. He'll flip back over to uh, to us and he'll announce a two minute call. Copy that. We'll just be doing a uh, straight in uh, to the south. Roger that, sir. Is it okay for me to proceed? Absolutely. Question is, are you going to make it? It's touchy.
don't think so. You just gotta go I think for it. Highway. <laughs> let's try. Let's try to go for it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna make a, a good, decision a, about a good, halfway. Yeah, a good between. call though is for that highway. But let's just see how this plays out. I'm actually interested because I don't know if it's gonna work or not. And I don't have. Uh, you're, you're gonna make it. You're I don't gonna, have you're, 500. You're gonna make it. Correct. You don't have flaps. So we're just gonna do a low approach. Okay. Or actually, I tell you what. If it looks like we're gonna make it, go full flaps and let's land, and then we'll do the the uh, precaster stuff. But I wouldn't do it now. I'd start slowing it down, bring the nose up. Am I gonna make it? Yep, you'll make it. You'll make it. Bring the keep bring, keep bringing the nose up. Nose up. You're gonna make it. Flaps. Stall. Thousand feet, you probably can go thirty miles. 